Welcome to Curie Electronics. Today we are going to learn how to make use of the external hardware interrupt or external interrupt of 8051 based microcontroller. It can be any of the 8051 variant. So before going to the circuit diagram and program, let's learn a little bit about what is an interrupt. Interrupt. What is an interrupt? The microcontroller uh, have some interrupt pins. The, the interrupts can be external or internal. That means externally we, we can provide interrupt through a sensor or switch. Timer interrupt or serial interrupt, those are the internal interrupts. Now first let's write the definition of the interrupt. What is the interrupt? An interrupt An interrupt is external or internal event that interrupts that interrupts the microcontroller to inform that a device needs its service needs its service so an interrupt is external or internal event that interrupts the microcontroller to inform that a device needs its service we are not going in more in theory here so next for a 8051 we are we want to write the code for the 8051 and see it's working so 8051 interrupts. How many interrupts are there for 8051? It is 5 interrupts plus 1 reset. So we can say 8051 has got uh, 1 reset interrupt. Reset actually it's a it's a not a user uh, user interrupt it is like a power on to make sure the controller is ready to execute the program so it has got one reset the 8051 then timer timer interrupts are there there are two timer interrupts that is timer zero interrupt timer zero interrupt means when timer overflows it will give an interrupt that is the timer overflow interrupts then it has got external interrupts external then serial communication that is serial interrupt so these are the main interrupts of 8051 and we will be writing code code and we will try it on real hardware how this works so now let's go to the okay one before going to the 8051 external hardware interrupt let's let's write what are the interrupts that is the first one is the timer zero overflow interrupt overflow interrupt
Similarly, timer 1. Two type basic 8051 has got two timers. That is this 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 bit is there when this overflow timer zero overflow when it happens tf0 bit will set similarly for the timer one tf1 bit will set set means this is equal to one then we have external hardware interrupt external hardware interrupt zero so this this will set this is in zero in zero interrupt next is the external hardware interrupt one that is int one and finally for the serial communication serial communication interrupt these are the five user interrupts of 8051 microcontroller serial communication interrupt and today we are going to focus on how to write external hardware interrupt how to make use of this external hardware interrupt so now to okay firstly we will see the how the circuit what are the changes we are going to make the circuit in the previous videos we have seen in the previous video we have seen how to interface switch switch and led with the microcontroller that is the 8051 microcontroller we have used 89c52 so here what i am going to do this switch i want to use it for the interrupt i am using in zero, interrupt zero external hardware interrupt zero so this port i am going to change pin number 12 that is the port 3.2 p 3.2 is the in zero in zero pin that is the pin number 13 pin number 13 or 12 12 12 pin number 12 it is pin number 12 i will connect the switch to pin number 12 using a pull up resistor so using this switch this switch i am providing the interrupt interrupt to the microcontroller I want to show you uh, when interrupt occurs how the how the program control is going to the subroutine for that what I am going to do I am going to add one more LED here LED I want to connect one more LED so I will connect a current limiting resistor I have put a hundred ohm that's what I got that's fine it was working fine uh, then one more LED this is goes to 5 volt and this is this is a blue color LED blue color and the other one whichever we had in the last program that is the red color LED red so now we have two color LEDs red and blue now what I will do when interrupt is not there this red led will be clip on blinking when i press the switch interrupt occurs on the in zero that is external not in in zero external interrupt zero the interrupt occurs and it will do the it will do the subroutine function what is the subroutine function here I am going to blink the blue color LED three or five four times and then it will exit the subroutine. So these are the only hardware changes. Remaining oscillator, reset circuit, EAP into 5 volt, everything is same. You can make the same circuit 
I will show you the working of this circuit and program using the breadboard. Now before uh, going to the breadboard, I like to tell you about little bit about the little bit about the this one what is happening during the interrupt so what we'll do in the microcontroller coding we'll have while one loop correct and there will be a number of lines of code will be there first line second line I like that many number of codes n number of codes are there and we'll have a interrupt service routine service routine that means uh, see what uh, when interrupt service routine and there will be a number of codes uh, one two a number of codes number of lines of codes let us assume that if the program was running at line code number two line code number two that some code is there that it was executing that time the interrupt executor what happens then this this line of code it will execute and it will go to the and the control gems from after this it won't go to the third line it will go to the interrupt service routine and execute after executing the interrupt service routine next it will come back to the third line of code and it will start executing uh, detail i'm not going here how it is how the memory is saved where is the address is saved all that that i will make it a uh, one more media i'll make it there i'll make you make you clear hash include register 52.h that is the header file uh, then we are defining the pins see here i have used two pins for two leds that is port to 0 and port to 1 then I have used the interrupt flag that is a bit variable that is a bit that means uh, that interrupt flag can store either 0 or 1 our main program starts here so here port 3 see if you want to use the interrupt interrupts we have to make those pins as input pins so here i am making interrupt 0 and interrupt 1 pins as input and then we are going to use the trigger this edge trigger mode for the detection of interrupt that is change from high to low then we have to enable all the interrupts this ea pin must has to be high that will after any if we enable ea pin then only remaining all interrupts can be enabled so we are enabling the ea, EA bit then ex0 that is external interrupt 0 we are enabling uh, then so these are the primary requirement for the external interrupt now we are entering to the while loop here while one infinite loop there we have two if loops if interrupt flag this this means if interrupt if interrupt flag not equal to one or if interrupt flag equal to zero that is more correct if interrupt flag equal to zero what you should do you should turn on and off the red led with delay then if interrupt flag is true that is how it becomes true that is what the subroutine here see when the interrupt occurs on the ext0 or in 0 in 0 this interrupt flag is set once that flag is set i am disabling all ea ea all all interrupts so that we can take care of the debouncing problem of the switch otherwise this this interrupt will be keep on occurring to avoid that we are i am disabling all the 
I am disabling e all the interrupts. That is EA equal to zero. So once the interrupt flag op occurs, what happens? The program goes to into the interrupt this if loop. Then it is turning off. First it will turn off the red LED. And then it is making on and off continuously three, four times the blue LED. And then it is making the interrupt flag is equal to zero and enabling all the interrupts so that next interrupt can can be captured. So that's all this program. I, I hope you you understood how the program flow. The delay function we have used in the previous switch and LED interface also. So this is a very simple delay function. That's all. The program also simple. You should know this part that are which are the register bits has to be set for the operation of the or to use external interrupt what are the register bits you have to take care and don't forget you have to make the external interrupt pins as input pins then only this interrupt occurs now we will make the hardware using a breadboard and we will upload the hex code hex so we are back to the breadboard so as per the circuit diagram i have made the connections there is not much change reset circuit is same with a capacitor and resistor and this is the oscillator part oscillator circuit we are not changed anything then already we had a port 2.0 that is 20th pin we had already one red LED connected. Now to show you the external hardware, external hardware interrupt that is external hardware interrupt zero working. I have added one more LED here to the port 2.1 that is the 21st pin, 22nd pin. Okay, sorry, it's 22nd pin. Then I have added one switch to the inter external hardware interrupt zero pin that is i think pin number 12 yeah pin number 12 i have used a pull up resistor also now when i press this see now the led is blinking that is the red color led In the i am not able to capture the exact red color with the camera now what happens now i am going to through the switch I am providing the external interrupt. See now you can see that red color LED gone off and this blue color LED started blinking. In the program we have written in such a way when interrupt occurs red color LED gets off and blue color LED blooms for two or three times. I think two or three times only. See, now it is blue color LED is blinking three times, four times. I, I This code is also not perfect because sometimes it's blinking three times, sometimes four times. So it is up to you to make it perfect code. So now I hope you understood how the external hardware interrupt works and how to write the code for it. And depending on your application, you can, you can write the code however you want. If you have any doubt, please let me know. I will try to help you out. So I hope you like the video. If so, please like the hit button. Please hit the like button and also share with your friends. And thanks for watching.